Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Hot Mess Express Leslie, coming to you from my craft room today. I didn't want to get out of the bed. I didn't. I had a very busy week at work, and I'm exhausted. Um, this weekend, I have a lot to do. I want to start on my taxes. I want to do my laundry, change my sheets, put up my weather station, plan with me, declutter a space. Yeah, all kinds of things I want to do. <laughs> oh, don't want to do it. Not a bit of it. So, I thought maybe if I just get up, take the dog for a walk, let him go potty, have a cup of coffee, and do something fun like put up my weather station that would motivate me to do one of my chores. If I just do one of my chores, the world will be right. <laughs> Let's go get coffee. these here instructions have to say. Huh. I don't have the right size chairs at this bar. Doesn't really matter because I don't sit here that often. Okay. We don't need to know that. We need to know how to set it up. You will need a crosshead screwdriver and hex driver for assembly, and two double A and three for the sensor. So I need five double A's, a hex screw, and a number two Phillips. Five double A coming right up, and a one and a two. So I will need two batteries for the weather station and three for the sensor. Alright, let me go see if I can find a third. Just use this one today. Alright. I have so many screwdrivers I can figure to say, hey, we'll use this one for today. <laughs> Alrighty then. Wow, they're so nice. Remove weather station and sensors from the package and place together on a table or bench within easy reach. Place the batteries and screwdrivers within reach of set up location. And that is so nice of you. Alright. Keep sensors and weather stations 5 to 10 feet 
for at least 15 minutes after installing batteries to allow them to connect. Okay, insert three batteries into the multi-combination wireless remote sensor. I would imagine that's this thing. Wireless remote sensor. Where do the batteries go? Okay. All right, so the batteries go right here. And we gotta put three of them. So there's one, a T, and a three. And we're going to put it five feet away. Okay. And I'm going to put it right over there. That's between five and ten feet. All right. Now what? Then plug the power cord into the weather station. Which would be this. It's very plasticky. Right. Power cord would be in here. Sir, we don't need all that. Thank you anyway. Thank you anyway. A little hard to see here. Everything's the same color. Very hard to see when everything's the same color. Look, power cord in. You just give me a moment and I will figure that out. Okay. Right. We have this display. Ooh. What? Okay, I'm going to put that down real quick. It said wind speed we're not sure of. I know. I know you definitely. <laughs> that took everything out of the box. This is the piece that was on the end of the little thing that tells you which way the wind is blowing. It was broken. I tried gluing it and everything and it won't stay on. So, do I care that we get an exact measurement of the wind? Surely I do not. I had a complete meltdown panic attack about it, and I'm sure my niece thought I was absolutely nuts, but whatever. It just happens. All right. All right. Plug the cord in. Configure basic settings. Set time, date, unit, etc. Okay. How do we do that? Let's see here. What is this? We got now. Uh, where's Where's the power? Hello? Are you not on? What happened? Hello? Hello? Why, why are you not on? All right, set, uh, set the time. Okay. Press and hold the blank for three seconds to enter the time setting. 
one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Okay, I didn't do that. Press I N H G. Wind miles per hour, wind direction, rain inches. I don't know what that means. Okay. No. We are not on Pacific. We are on Eastern. Okay. Format. Yes. Okay. Hour. It is 50, I ate at this point. Display month and day. Year is 2023. Now 24. Month is 2. Day is 8. Five, six, nine, okay. Weather forecast. Two, nine, seven, fifty-eight a.m. Warm off. I want the time. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Eastern Standard Time. Twelve hour is not seven, it is nine. Fifty nine. Why, why does it, why does it do that? Why does it turn off? Why does the light go away? I want it lit. Whatever. We did what we were supposed to do. Lord, we need coffee. All right. Yep, got that. Insert two AA batteries into the weather station. Just in case you lose power. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That's what we do. It lights up at nighttime when it gets dark. Okay, I like it. Alrighty then. Okay, hold on. You just hold on there now. Okay. Y'all having fun? <laughs> hey, uh, it'll be fun by the end, I promise. All right. Well, there we go. If you cover this up, it lights up. But if you have it in the daytime, it goes away. It took me a little while, but I figured that stuff out. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, what's next? Move the remote sensor to outdoor or other location after five minutes. How much is 2.5 meters? A meter is three feet, right? So that'd be like seven feet? Mm -hmm. 
wait a minute. Move the weather station to the appropriate location within a minimum distance of 2.5 meters from all sources of interference. Oh, okay. Such as television or computer monitor. Weather station. That's that thing. Okay. Uh. Television, computer monitor, radio reception is weaker in rooms with concrete walls. And in offices, I guess I mean like office buildings because we don't do concrete walls in our houses. Uh, in such extreme circumstances, place the weather station close to the window. The weather station has a radio control clock calibration time function. After power on, after searching the wireless sensor for three minutes, or all channels successfully search for the, the weather station will automatically enter the radio control clock timing mode. You will need to set time, press and hold and do all these things. And we already, we already did that. What are you talking about? Radio control clock. We, we, we want to know how to set this mama up. Alarm sounds. Readings. Wind and rain. And wireless sensor connection. The weather station can connect up to one wireless sensor. Three different channels of temperature. You know, the, the weather station... Weather sensors. Y'all see how I read? Every few words. <laughs> we don't need all that detail. I'm not much on instructions. Y'all know that. I just give me, give me facts. Stop telling me all this dumb stuff about cement walls and put my stuff close to where I can reach it. Tell me, tell me when I need to use this and the hex screw. Okay, can we just get on with it? <sighs> Let's try, okay, I think we're still on this thing. I want to know how to set up that thing. Oh, there we go. Let's skip. I can push buttons to figure that out. Multi-combination wireless remote sensor. Mount an open area clear, of, clear for 50 feet in all directions. The sensor needs to be mounted on a sturdy platform or bracket that is mounted five feet above the ground, so it will go on my fence. The base of the sensor is screwed to the platform and the support frame. Tighten the large nut that secures the support rod to the base. Yeah, that's telling me nothing. Okay. Installation method one. Real confused. Okay, so we have, I guess we have this. Oh, okay. And then you can screw it in flat. Okay, well I could do that on my fence post. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. All right, I like it. Tell me what I need to do. Sensor, okay, we've got that. Base, sensor, screwed, platform. Got that. Installing, sensor body, solar panel faces south. Solar panel. Which one? Is that this thing? No, solar panel. South. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We'll go that way, okay? Um... Use the bubble to level it. I'm sure my fence is not level, so it doesn't matter what we do there. Completing the bubble, lock the two hex guns, screws on the sensor body. Hex guns, screws. Hex 
strong screws. I don't know where any hexagon screws are. <laughs> Why would that be? I don't know. Hexagon screws on the body. We don't see many hexagon screws. We found the solar panel. We need to take stuff off. All right, so I'm going to just go and put this bad boy up. Because we don't know what we're doing. i got to find some hex screws because I, I don't know what they are. So the outside has been hung, minus the bottom wind direction thingy. I don't know how much it affects it. But here is the inside sensor. It says that the wind speed is 2.3 miles per hour. 270 degrees south uh, west now it's not uh outdoor is 69 degrees 36 percent humidity indoor is 69 degrees 46 percent humidity the barometer is 29.8 Today's temperature is 69, feels like 70, got the date right. Weather forecast is partly cloudy, I suppose, is what that means. Very cool. Let's go get ready for a basketball game. Oh, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> if you touch it. It moves. It's on the inside, not on the outside. I don't know how it would have happened because I don't touch these windows. Um, I keep I keep these blinds pulled down all the time. The cat comes up here to get his water and food, as he is now. But nothing major happens. What in the heck would cause that? If you've ever had that happen, let me know. It's the only window in the house that that is happening. That is really annoying. All right, everyone. So it looks like this is going to be a short video. My basketball buddy just called me and said, let's go meet at school early. So I can't do anymore right now i will post this video tonight and then tomorrow we're probably going to have a much longer video because i've got a lot of stuff i've got to get done um i did get the weather thing hung directions were horrible they don't know what a hex screw is maybe i don't know what a hex screw is because i got my hex drivers out and there was nothing with the hex screw end on it Ooh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I got that up. The wind speed, everything shows, so I'm sure it's fine. I'm quite puzzled by my interior window pane. There, and it's on the inside. I went to the outside, touched the outside. That pane is fine, and it's on the inside, and I don't know what would cause that, and how do I replace it? Do I have to replace the whole window? Can I just replace that inner pane? Is it a structural thing that decided to pop up all of a sudden? We don't know. 
I have dreams and goals of cash stuffing and saving and something happens every time. And it's life, right? So, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and watching this video of me trying to interpret foreign instructions. Um, you know, I'm a weather geek, so I love to know what the weather is and all of that. So, I think I'm really going to enjoy this gadget. Um, if you're interested in getting one, they're all over Amazon. So, you can find them there. Um, Duke, what are you doing? And, anyway, i got to stop blabbing and get ready for my game. So, I will see you tomorrow for a longer video. Sorry it was so short. Love you all. Thanks for being here. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I love gaining new friends. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye.